All right, so here's our next example. Uh, as you can see, what we're trying to do is we're trying to subtract these two things. Uh, so again, we're going to have to find our common denominator. My suggestion is go ahead and factor everything first when you don't have a common denominator because sometimes that will break it down into its parts and it's easier to see uh, in terms of your pieces here. So 2x minus 3 is a linear binomial. There is no common factor. Can't factor that either. This is a monomial. Can't factor it. In our denominator, we can't factor either so uh, unfortunately we can't factor anything so what we're going to try to do is try to find our common denominator now what we do is we just say well 2x minus 3 you can't split those up into parts because it's a binomial so you have to take it as one 2x minus 3 we would say is new x plus 3 that's obviously not the same as the last one so therefore it is also new so that's our common denominator and what we'll do is we will take this term right here to get this we need to take this and multiply it by x plus 3 we're going to multiply that on the top and the bottom so what that will give me when I multiply those two polynomials together x squared plus 5x and then plus 6 over here to get my common denominator I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by 2x minus 3 Again, probably going to be one of the most commonly missed problems on something like this. And the reason is because you are not going to distribute that negative along with the 4. When I multiply negative 4 times 2x, it gives me negative 8x. And then negative 4 times negative 3 is a positive 12. Now what I can do is I can go ahead and combine my terms in my numerator. So it will give me x squared and then minus 3x and then plus 18 over 2x minus 3 should get a little something like this now what we need to do is make sure we can't simplify the fraction now if this were something and, and we knew you know looking at this like uh, you know if this were a 25 you'd be looking at getting like 1 and 25 or 5 and 5 or something like that and there's no way that would cancel with something down here but uh, in a problem like this 18 I know factors of 18 1 18 2 and 9 3 and 6. If 3 and 6 come up, I'm in, in trouble because I could possibly cancel it. So uh, we're going to need to try to actually factor it. Two numbers will multiply to give me 18. Uh, they'll add to give me that. Uh, turns out it won't work. Okay, so we can't factor that. If this, however, had been minus, we do know two factors of 18 whose difference would be 3. But because this is plus, we don't know two factors of 18 whose sum is negative 3. So there's that example.